okay in this video i will explain the measurement of gear pitch so the circular pitch of teeth measured on the base circle i will show it in the figure so it's a uh, circular pitch of teeth measured on the base circle that is called a base pitch that is called base pitch so uh, it can be measured by the following ways the first one is step by step method and the second one is direct angular method first i will explain the step by step method okay in this method it is also known as tooth to tooth pitch measurement it is also known as tooth to tooth pitch measurement okay in this method the variation in between the successive teeth of the gears are measured successive teeth of gears are measured in this type in this way of uh, uh, in this way method that is step by step method and the, in the instrument used for measurement of pitch has three tips one they are fixed measuring tip sensitivity tip and the adjustable or guide tip the, so we are using a three type different types of tip used to uh, find uh, used for the uh, measurement of the pitch so sensitivity tip can be a adjustable by a screw i will show it in the, by once i will write the figure i will explain it once more time once the sensitivity tip can be adjusted by a screw its further movement is transmitted through a leverage system to a dial indicator so the guide type or else adjustable tip is given for the supplementary adjustment okay it maintains the stability of the instrument it maintains the stability of the instrument once the distance between the fixed and the sensitivity tip is said to be equivalent once the distance between the fixed and the sensitivity step is said to be equivalent to the base pitch of the gear with the help of what slip gauges whatever is there the distance has to be set with respect to the slip gauges as we have discussed in the previous methods also with respect to the gear to th thickness there also we are using a slip gauge for the setting purpose so the properly set up instrument is applied to the gear so that all the three tips contact uh, the tooth profile that like that only we have to fix uh, like like that only we have to uh, set up the instrument so uh, just i will show the figure how it will be once once i once i write the figure again i will explain all the necessity necessary conditions so so this is what this is about the base pitch measuring instrument this is what the dial indicator this is what the screw to change the this is what the screw to change position of adjustable stop here and one one on one thing we are use here on one tip we are used here so there we are using a here also we are using one tip so this is the pitch circle here also we are using a three different tip tip number 1 that is sensitivity tip this is the fixed tip and this is the adjustable tip just i will write it out sensitive tip this is the base pitch Be base base pitch
gear to be tested this is the gear that to be tested here we are using a three type one is fixed measuring tip this one is so this is sorry sorry this is this is fixed tip this one is adjustable or guide stop adjustable or to that adjustable one we are using a screw to change the position of the adjustable stop here this one here this is what the adjustable this is the fixed one again fixed the measuring tip that i have shown already here fixed measuring tip this is the sensitivity tip and this is the screw to adjust screw to adjust position of the sensitivity tip so to adjust this sensitivity tip we are using a screw to adjust here this is the dial indicator and this is the body of the base pitch measurement instrument so this is the base pitch from here to here base pitch so this is screw to adjust for the adjustable one adjustable tip this is the fixed one these are the gears these are the base pitch so we are using a the instrument used for measurement of the pitch has a three tips i have one is the fixed measuring tip sensitivity tip sensitivity tip fi uh, fixed measuring tip sensitivity tip and the adjustable or a guide tip so the sensitivity tip has to be adjusted by the screw here adjusted to the position of the sensitive screw here the adjustable uh, 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 or guide stop is also uh, adjusted by a screw here in this one so the distance between the fixed and the sensitive so distance between the fixed and the sensitive tips is said to be equivalent to the is said to be is said to be equivalent to the base pitch of the gear with the help of what slip gauges that is very important with the, with the help of what slip gauges we are shown here right with the help of the, so, so the properly set up instrument is applied to the gear so that all the three tips one two and this three tips contact the tooth profile all the these three to have contact the tooth profile so here sensitivity are contacted here this fixed one is contacted here and this is adjustable has to be contacted here so so the reading on the dial indicator gives the errors in the base pitch whatever the error is there here that has to be shown in the dial indicator this is about the base pitch measuring instrument this is about the base pitch measuring instrument so now i will tell another one another way we have already told you another way of uh, measuring the base pitch is what direct angular measurement so here in the in the direct angular measurement method two dial gauges on the adjacent teeth are used two dial gauges on the two dial gauges on adjacent teeth are used with a gear mounted at a center that i will show in the figure so the gear is indexed through a successive pitch to give a constant reading on the dial a so any changes in the reading on the dial b indicates the pitch error so the actual error, error can be determined by taking individual reading on the dial b how it will be i will show it in the figure so this is the profile this is the pitch circle here we are using a this is dial b same like that of here also we are using so don't forget to write we have to place it on the pitch circle here this is the dial a so the gear is indexed through a successive pitch to give a constant reading on the dial a 
any changes in the reading on the dial b indicates what pitch error so the actual error can be determined by taking the individual reading on the dial b this is about the direct angular measurement so direct angular measurement so this is about the measurement of the gear pitch here the circular pitch of the teeth measured on the base circle is called base pitch that i have told you and it can be measured by following ways first one is what step by step method by using a base pitch measuring instrument and another one is direct angular measurement okay thank you